Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're looking at the economic issue of environmental sustainability. In particular, what we're focusing on here is the issue of market failure. This is a bit tricky, but we're going to go slow. The first thing to think about is that market failure involves the price mechanism. If you run it back to year 11, that the price mechanism is how demand and supply interact to find the price in the market. So if I'm thinking back of how I would show that, I'd be like, okay, we got P, I got Q, not the neatest graph, I know, supply and then demand. So where they intersect, that gives me the price in the market. And that this here, equilibrium price, is PE. And then the equilibrium quantity, oh, okay, well, that's QE. So what I'm saying here is that in a market, right, prices represent the private benefit that consumers get. The private benefit that consumers get. So this is represented by their demand. And it also represents the private costs to producers. So the price is how much it costs producers to produce and this relates to supply. So what we're saying is that where private benefit and private cost interact, that's where we get the equilibrium price. But you may have noticed a word, right? Private benefit. So the price mechanism does not take into account the effect of production on the environment. So what happens is that there are social costs to do with production. So this is about pollution or resource exploitation. So what we can say then is, one, the prices paid by consumers do not reflect the social costs of production. In fact, they just represent the private costs, just the benefit that consumers get. The second weak thing we can think about is that the prices charged by producers do not reflect the social costs of production. They just represent the private costs. They just represent the benefit to firms. So as a result, we get market failure. So let's think about this. Okay, so we've got private benefit and then we've got social costs. Let's write this down just to think about that. So we've got So we've got private benefit versus social costs. So market failure, right? We get a situation where market fails because the price mechanism where demand equals supply takes account of private benefits and costs of production to consumers and producers, but it doesn't take into account social costs like damage to the environment. So, okay, so the market is failing because it takes into account the benefits that consumers get and what it costs producers to make but it doesn't take into account what happens to the environment. So instead, we get externalities. We get side effects of production. So for example, we get negative externalities. So this is where there's an unintended consequence of production that harms the environment. So this here would be a This would be a negative. It would represent a social cost that the price mechanism doesn't take into account. But we can also get positive externality. So when we produce things or buy things or make things, that it actually benefits the environment. So that here, this is a, it's a social benefit. So what we're seeing here is that market failure occurs and market failure is leading to 
negative externalities and also positive externalities. So let's think about two situations, okay, to try and demonstrate this idea of market failure and externality. So what we've got, this first situation is that a company decides to reduce its freight costs by transporting its goods by road rather than rail. So what it's doing is it's now moving its goods by road and not rail. So now it's using trucks rather than trains. And the comment here is that this represents a negative externality. Okay, a negative externality. Why would that be the case? If we are using trucks, trucks, not trains, then we can see a situation where we're going to get more traffic because we're now moving freight goods by trucks. We're going to get more pollution and that what this is going to do is this kind of things are going to lead to negative externalities. So by the company changing how it produces, changing how it moves these goods, that this will create negative effects for society. Let's think about the other situation. An individual, so just like you or me, purchases an energy efficient fridge. This represents a positive externality. So explain why. Why is this the case? Okay, positive externality. Okay, so if I get a energy efficient fridge, right, that's going to use less energy for me if I buy it, but then also that there is less energy used by society because I require less. So maybe therefore there would be less pollution to generate that energy. So that therefore what I am doing is I am creating a social benefit and a positive externality. So in this video, we've looked at the idea of market failure. So markets failing where private benefits and private costs do not reflect social costs of production. And we can see that when market failure occurs, when the costs privately are not equal to those socially, that we can get negative externalities and also positive externalities.